2 between Exit and Sony, aka Nooks. I may vary between Sony and Nooks and whatever not, I, uh, just because I call them both in this uh, commentary. Bottom left-hand corner in the uh, dark blue, dark blue, we have Exit, which makes his name a little bit harder to see in the upper right-hand corner, but it makes it, it also makes it hard to see on the mini-map. I'm actually curious how many players actually intentionally go for like black or blue or like colors that match the background to be a little bit more annoying as far as minimap discovery. Although you can just a tip, I think it's um, shift tab, alt tab, one of those two. I always just like slam both of them to see to make it happen. You can switch it to just straight red, whatever, but I can't do that in the replay. Now it's like muscle memory, it's shift tab. Unfortunately, because it's a, a melee game, when I do that, it just puts everybody yellow. But tip for you guys out there. Upper right-hand corner, we have Nook starting as the Red Zerg. This is going to be on Shakura's Plateau, which theoretically will play more towards, because it's, you've got a rampless third base, which makes the sort of lurker play a little bit less viable because they're not having to, you can't just plant the two lurkers and just have them hold a ramp forever to secure your third gas. So, and you do have a natural that I'll go ahead and do a map reveal right here which is a little bit uh, more exposed on Cliffside Edge to Mutalisk. So I feel like this is one of those maps that favors uh, Mutalisk play a little bit more than Lurker play. I'm not sure that's what so uh, that Sony's going to opt for. It looks like he is going to opt for a 12th hatch opener once again, which I think makes plenty of sense on a four-player map. Get that economic lead where you can. Exit starting to move, and he's got that initial overlord going to the bottom right-hand corner. Exit going ahead and scouting upper left-hand first. We'll see if he tries to go for that same similar trick once again. With the, you find an overlord, you switch position. It looks like it's not happening this time. It is a larger map to pull that off. Getting a second barracks earlier to have more marines to apply more pressure and also get a little bit more map control. Feel a little bit safer grabbing his own natural expansion. We see a spawning pool being built. Game one, he sat on that one barracks for a very long period of time, although with that scouting information played off, finding nothing nothing in the upper right and corner is going to start cycling the upper right and get the scout there. Also, critically, I want to point out that Nooks just scouted with his Zerglings previous match. He never sent out a drone scout. He's grabbed his extractor. We'll see what he's going to be up to in this match. With this uh, opener, Exit can go ahead and grab a command center on the ground uh, and play a little bit more passively from there. Also, if he keeps the SCV in the base and kind of keeps an eye at how many larva are doing what, uh, can proceed from there. Currently, Nooks is not really saving. Is this the drone scout? Drone kind of hanging out towards that natural expansion. I think it wanted to go ahead and sneak a quick third, but it's instead it's going to wander and engage this SCV. Keep in mind, this is a diseased man, people. Three drones on gas initially. We just see two Zerglings being produced to start, and with that scouting information, exit already wandering out forward. I think he can even go command center before uh, the bunker if he wanted to, um, but he didn't have that SCV up forward to kind of spot that. Third hatchery in base, so it's going to be th three base hatchery. And a preventatory creep colony, very early creep colony. But again, because Nooks doesn't have the, the drone scouting information, he doesn't know what's happening. Uh, they come across so just being a little bit defensive that <laughs> doing the that's I wonder if he did that intentionally but this is a great trick if you can just keep the SCV that's actually really clever if you can keep the SCV like freak uh, doing the uh, drone drill or doing the SCV drill in this case like back and forth worker drill you can actually keep it alive for a long period of time against melee units because it can just keep shifting back and forth I wonder if players do that intentionally still two barracks and stim being upgraded just a bunch of marines uh, for exit, so it looks like he wants to go for a bust here. No academy, or sorry, no fire bats just yet. We'll see if the fire bats start emerging after the Breens. Oftentimes, that is what you'll see in these early, and Lair being grabbed at the natural expansion uh, for Nooks because he was thinking, okay, I'm, I want to avoid that scan, try to hide that tech potentially. But this does look like it's going to be a marine medic bust. Second medic's going to be out momentarily. No fire bats in this cadre though. Usually you'll see this with fire bats. That overlord, I don't think, saw this army coming across. He is going to want a second creep colony to try to defend this. Evolution Chamber, kind of a SimCity on the front. The SimCity doesn't really help. Uh, and he, he saw those, okay, saw the Marines pulling out. They're regrouping. Is that going to provoke a second creep colony? He also needs some Zerglings to try to defend this, honestly. No second creep colony just yet. So things working out where this might just be a straight bust. There's that spire at that natural expansion. 
And yeah, so at the very least, this hatchery potentially evolution chamber going to get wiped out. Some Zerglings being produced now, but he really needed more baseline defense uh, to make this work. An SCV alongside to perhaps do some linebackering. So using that perhaps in lieu of a firebat or the firebats. No, no, just no, no firebats, just straight medic marine uh, to go ahead and push into this. So the medics being initially targeted, that evolution chamber, yeah, not going to provide enough. And now, and actually the marines unfortunately targeting the evolution chamber rather than the Sutton colony initially. It's still not going to matter. Yeah, GG. Good timing from exit. So quick 2-0. This is where, so yeah, one, chalk it up to COVID, but two, this is where scouting information is absolutely critical early game uh, to prevent this exact sort of action from happening. So in the winner's bracket, we will see Exit taking on Mihalic, which I believe I already cast previously. Uh, in the loser's bracket, we are going to see uh, Nooks on the opposite side, and I'm forgetting. <laughs> Uh, Nooks versus Grast, and we'll move on to the Nooks versus Grast for the live stream momentarily. For people that are watching this on YouTube, though, Time Portal. I thought exit. Uh, I thought the exit match over there was actually part of the group stages because I had the replays that were unsorted. So when you watch that, that's actually the winners bracket. But uh, but yeah, that's what's happening over there. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.